Hello everyone, welcome to AWS Tutorials. In AWS Tutorials, we provide workshops and exercises to learn about AWS services. And these workshops and exercises are published to our website, aws-dozo.com. Uh, you can follow these uh, workshops and exercises to implement certain scenario and learn about AWS services. Today, we are going to talk about how you can use Kinesis delivery stream to transform data using um, Glue. So let's get some introduction about this topic first. So if you are building a delivery stream using Kinesis uh, data firehose, uh, then you can do transformation in two ways. One is uh, using Lambda function, and second is using uh, Glue data catalog. So uh, if like you're not aware of Kinesis, then um, just to give you a very short introduction, uh, Kinesis is used to uh, ingest a high volume of streaming data inside uh, AWS. Uh, Kinesis uses a uh, partition method, shard method, and uh, you can use multiple shard uh, to, uh, to enable high volume data ingestion uh, inside AWS. Once data gets ingested using uh, Kinesis uh, data stream, then uh, in order to deliver this data to a certain destination, uh, you can use Kinesis data firehose, a firehose to create a delivery stream uh, to deliver it to destinations like uh, say S3 or Redshift or even third party tools like Splunk. Uh, when you are trying to deliver your data uh, through a delivery stream, uh, sometimes there is a requirement that you want to transform the data. And when you want to transform the data, there are two methods available to transform uh, using Lambda function or using uh, Glue data schema. The primary difference is that when you are using Lambda function, then you can do any kind of transformation. You can you do like a standard transformation, like something like you want to convert say CSV into JSON or JSON into some other format. Uh, you can do that uh, in, la in Lambda function. You can do any kind of custom custom transformation there because end of day you're writing your own code. So you can transform the way you want to transform your data. And you're using Lambda function code to trans for the transformation. When you're using Glue data catalog, then uh, actually you are you don't, you're not required to uh, write uh, even a single line of code. Uh, you can simply transform your data using uh, a schema, uh, using uh, you know, a schema conversion. Uh, but when you're using Glue data catalog, uh, there are certain transformations which are uh, possible. And today I'm going to focus on Glue data catalog based transformations. Let's, uh, let's focus a bit on that. Uh, so with, uh, if you're trying to uh, if you're trying to transform your data using Glue data based transformation, then it can convert uh, J only JSON format into uh, Apache Parquet or Apache ORC format. So your, your sourced, source format has to be JSON and your destination format has to be uh, Apache uh, uh, Parquet or Apache ORC. Um, if you have any other con uh, combination, then um, you should be using Lambda function for that kind of transformation. But again, you have to write the code. Now, sometimes you might have a scenario that where your source data is in say CSV format uh, or XML format, and you want to convert that into Apache Parquet. And if that is the case, then you can very well use this method along with Lambda, where you can use Lambda to convert your say, uh, XML or CSV source data into JSON format. And then from JSON, you use a Glue transformation to um, convert into Parquet or ORC format. So you can do that combination as well. But um, the, the good part about this method of transformation is that you don't need to write even a single line of code uh, for your transformation. Uh, the limitation, or you can say the bad part, is that it can only convert JSON into Apache Parquet or Apache ORC format. Good. So let's uh, see what. So this is the part I'm going to focus today, and let's see what we are going to implement. 
so what we are going to implement is uh, we will uh, configure a Kinesis data stream which will be used to ingest data. And the data will be ingested using uh, a Cloud9 based uh, Kinesis client uh, where we simply ingest data in the JSON format. Uh, then uh, we will use Kinesis um, uh, Firehouse and we'll create a delivery uh, stream uh, over here uh, to convert uh, to convert JSON into uh, Paraquay uh, and store it uh, in S3 as a destination. And in order to convert JSON into Paraquay, uh, we will use a Glue catalog. So this is what we are going to build today. So um, there uh, is a workshop published to our website aws-dojo.com, uh, which you can use to uh, which you can use to uh, follow step-by-step -step instructions to complete this scenario and learn about uh, Kinesis and Glue and the services involved in this whole implementation. Um, so uh, yeah, the URL of the workshop has been provided in the description box. Uh, you can follow that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you the steps involved in implementing this scenario. So let's go to the website. So here is our website where we have uh, published uh, this particular uh, workshop. Here is the small introduction about the workshop. Then you have a link called Start the Workshop. And here you can start the workshop. Now, when you start the workshop, it sh shows you the steps you need to perform to complete the workshop. And there are total seven steps involved. Let's go through those steps one by one. So very first step is uh, very straightforward. It says that you have to um, have an AWS account in order to complete the workshop. And if you don't have that, you might want to create a trial account. Okay. Then next step is to create a role. So Kinesis is going to call so many services. It will call Glue to fetch the schema detail for the transformation. It will use, uh, it's going to call S3 uh, bucket to uh, store the data uh, as a destination, you know, as a destination. Uh, so we are going to create a role which will be used by the Kinesis uh, Firehose uh, to perform these activities. So let's go and create an IAM role. So you go to the IAM, man IAM manager and you create a role with, uh, yeah, I'm trying to give a power user access just to simplify things. But yeah, if you're going for actual production implementation, then you want to go for very specific, um, uh, very specific, uh, um, um, permissions like uh, permission to write to certain bucket only and permission to perform only certain uh, get operations on the glue only, okay? those kind of things. But I'm keeping it simple for now. So you create this Dojo Kinesis role, okay, and you save it. Once it is done, the next step is to uh, create the destination and also create a data schema in the glue, which will be then used by Kinesis delivery system. Uh, uh, delivery stream to um, to do the transformation. So first step uh, first is that you go ahead and create an S3 bucket. So we are creating S3 bucket called Dojo Kinesis Destination, and and yeah, just simply creating the bucket. And then after that, we go to the lake formation, and we will create a database and data table and a schema inside the table, which is then used by the Kinesis uh, data stream for the um, uh, so delivery stream for the transformation. So first you create a database and we are into, into lake formation and uh, and we name this database say Dojo database. Once we have created this database, then we simply go and create a table called say Dojo table, keep it simple. And then uh, once the table is created, then we go and say, I want to, uh, yeah, you have to mention uh, in what format this table will be. So we are saying the format will be in JSON uh, format. And then uh, you have to also provide the, uh, the schema detail. So I mean, you're creating a table over here, so you give a table name, then you have to mention where this table um, uh, will have the destination, say uh, our location in the S3 bucket, what data format it will have, which is JSON in this case. And then it will also, you have to also provide the schema detail. So here is the schema detail I've created. So there are three, uh, three columns we are going to have in this uh, JSON, um, JSON input or JSON uh, yeah, input into input data. It will have first name, last name, age of string, string, and integer type. So once I show you the uh, the message format uh, letter uh, in the exercise in the workshop, uh, you will you will able to map it to here. But here I'm saying that hey, I'm going to 
I'm going to ingest the data in JSON format, and your JSON format will have in, in the schema will have three columns: uh, first name, last name, and age of string, string, and integer type. Once you have done this uh, schema uh, configuration, uh, and so far you have seen, I have not written a single line of code. Okay, so now we go and create a Kinesis data stream and delivery stream. Uh, so we go to the Kinesis uh, console. First, we create a Kinesis data stream, which is used to ingest the data. So we simply give it a name called Dojo stream, and then just keep one shot, which is good enough for the exercise. And then we we'll simply uh, create the data stream. So once the data stream has been created, then we go and create a delivery stream. And we give this name called Dojo delivery stream. And then we move on and say, uh, this delivery stream is going to pick data from the Kinesis data stream where we will actually ingest the data. And then um, I say that I want to do the format, uh, 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 I want to do record format conversion. So I want to enable it. That means I want to convert my record. And then I want to convert my record into Apache Parquet format. And then at this point of time, so I'm not using the, uh, I mean, they, 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 I mean, they, they, if you go and see the screen, you'll find there's a method available right before this method to convert using Lambda function, which we are not using here. We're using the other method uh, where we use the glue. So, say, so I'm saying, okay, I'm enabling for record format conversion, and then I want to convert into Apache Parquet. Uh, and then it will say, okay, if you want to convert to Apache Parquet, do you mind saying the schema detail? So I'm saying my schema is defined to uh, island region in the glue, uh, in the Dojo database, glue database, in the Dojo table, and take the latest version from there. So if you remember, this is the table and database uh, I created in the earlier step. And once I have done that, then I have to simply say, hey, where is my destination where I store my data? And say, my destination is an S3 bucket, and here is Dojo Kinesis destination. I configure it. I'm also providing some uh, buffering details. So for instance, I want to wait for 60 seconds before uh, 60 seconds of buffering of the record before it gets delivered to the destination. And then I also selected the role, which we have created earlier to give Kinesis authorization to perform different type of operations. So that's all. And then we simply go and create the delivery system. So my Kinesis side of um, configuration is ready. Now let's work on the client. So in order to create the client, first we go and set up um, a an, an Cloud9 environment. And we are using Cloud9 environment uh, as an environment, environment to build Kinesis client. So we'll simply create an uh, environment using a very small T2 micro machine so that we can use the AWS free tier uses. And then we'll simply go and deploy Python Boto3 SDK there so that we can uh, do Python programming with Kinesis. So we simply configure the environments, pretty straightforward steps. And after that, we simply create and run, uh, create and run the client. So let's create the client. So we create a new file, and this is the code of the client. So we are simply saying that um, I'm creating a client. Uh, Kinesis client, and then this is the data I want to send. So now, now you will be able to relate it to what is schema I define. So I, in schema, I define first name, last name, age as three fields, and I set the format is JSON. And I'm this is the message I'm sending, which is matching to that schema. And this file, JSON, JSON document or JSON input, will be converted into a Parquet format. Uh, through the delivery uh, stream configuration. So I'm simply, uh, this is my message, this is my partition key, I'm simply generating a random partition key, and then I'm simply using this put record method to send record one by one. I could have used put records method to send multiple, but I said let's keep it simple for now. So I'm simply saying uh, to this uh, Dojo stream, send my data, okay? Now, when you do that, um, uh, and, and uh, again, you can see that this, uh, JSON document and this format matches here. So once you send, uh, once you have created this client file, you might want to save it, and we are saving it with like Kinesis client .python file, and then we simply run it, and here we run the file, and which has simply put the record inside uh, the uh, Kinesis data stream, which will be then picked by the delivery stream to 
transform and then write to the S3 bucket. So we wait for 60 seconds because that's the buffering time we give. So at least buffering time is 128 MB of 60 seconds. So it will take a lot of time to give 128 MB of data. So let's wait for 60 seconds. And after that, if you go and check your destination in S3 bucket, you can see that your file has been transformed and delivered over there. And if you try to uh, open this file, you can see that it appends actually Parquet as extension over there. And then you can see this is a Parquet format, which is compressed uh, column, uh, columnar uh, format and not readable if you try to open into a normal text editor. So there is a nice tool, this uh, Parquet viewer online tool, which you can use to uh, like uh, open this kind of Parquet file. So I, if you try to use that tool and try to open over there, uh, you can you can you can see here um, uh, your your data has been has been uh, fetched over here. Okay, so that very much finishes the that very much finishes the workshop. Now the next step is to uh, simply uh, next step is to um, uh, clean up uh, the resources you created so that you don't uh, end up paying any service cost post this workshop. Uh, so this was all about this uh, workshop where you can see how you can use Kinesis with the glue to avoid writing even a single line of code to transform your JSON data into Apache Parquet, Apache, um, Apache Parquet or Apache ORC format. Uh, hope you like this uh, video and if you like, uh, please click on the like button, please subscribe to our channel. Um, if you have any feedback about uh, our a workshop and exercises. Either you can provide um, you know, those feedback in the YouTube comment channel, or comments, or you can also reach out to us through this contact us tab. There are many other exercises and workshops like this one in in, in our AWS Hyphen Dojo website uh, to learn about AWS services. Uh, I, I recommend you explore those exercises, uh, the one you like, and and yeah, implement a scenario like this to learn about AWS services. Uh, that's all for today. Um, hope you like this video. Uh, thank you very much for your time and have a nice day. Bye bye.